Welcome to our demo presentation. We are Group 8A and today my teammates and I would like to show you our project. We developed a tool called Sweeper for generating sweep objects. A sweep object consists of a sweep line and a set of cross sections. The cross sections are traced along the sweep line to produce the 3D sweep object mesh. If multiple cross sections are present, the mesh morphs between these. Our application consists of a 3D sweep object view and a 2D cross section view. In the 3D sweep object view, the user can select the move point tool to edit the sweep line. The sweep line consists of a number of connected Bezier curves, where each curve consists of a start and an end point, as well as two control points that change the direction. The user can also enter the exact coordinates using the selected point menu bar at the bottom right. The user can add and delete points using the respective tools. In order to get a better perspective, the user can either use the camera tool or the view cube to rotate the viewpoint. Additionally, the view cube can be accessed when any of the tools are selected. All sides of the cube can be clicked to snap to the corresponding world direction. To easily align the points, the user can switch to an orthographic perspective. Using this perspective, objects keep the same scale independent of the distance from the camera. Using the buttons at the bottom left, the sweep object skeleton can be toggled. The skeleton consists of a sweep line, sweep points and cross sections. Furthermore, the user can toggle the mesh and or show the wireframe of the mesh. Lastly, smooth lighting can also be toggled. The sweep point count in the header controls the number of points that will be used to approximate the sweep line. Intermediate cross sections are placed on each of those points to form the sweep object mesh. In the 2D cross section view, the user is able to edit these cross sections. The cross section menu allows for selecting, adding and removing cross sections. These cross sections are spaced evenly along the sweep line. After selecting the move point tool, the user can move points and change segment types. Each can either be a straight line, an arc or a bezier curve. The bezier curve works the same as for the sweep line, whereas the arc has an extra control point that defines the curvature. The user can also pan by right-click dragging in the view. Each cross-section has its own independent scale and rotation properties, which will affect the placement on the sweep line. The cross-section point count in the header controls the number of points that each of the cross-sections is approximated by. This affects the smoothness of the curve and influences the morphing between the cross-sections. There are various export formats that the tool supports. The .obg and .stl formats find their usage mostly in 3D printing. Additionally, the PNG option takes a screenshot of the sweep object from the current point of view. Finally, the user can export in JSON format, which contains the object specifications. This JSON format can be imported at a later time, thus allowing the user to save their progress. This also allows users to generate their own textual sweep object specifications and use our application to generate the mesh. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for your attention.